The last question is, what happens when you want to update? Say Heartbleed comes out or you've got a new version of your app. What then? Obviously, we want to update our containers to protect our data or to get new code out in front of users, but it would be risky to roll those changes out all at once. So instead, we use kubectl rollout. Let's walk through an example. In this example, we're going to be updating our pods to a new version. So we have a service with three replicated pods. After issuing the kubectl rollout command for v2 of our app, one comes online. Then our service starts routing traffic to it. So we have both v1 and v2 getting traffic at the same time. Next, we stop routing traffic to one of the old pods. And then we get rid of it entirely. At this point, the cycle continues all the way through till we get our desired three replicas back, at which point we have three versions of app v2 running. That's pretty cool. Let's have Kelsey show us this in practice.